Uh, hello everybody, Ian here. Welcome to Integrated Dynamics. Today we're going to take a look at uh, part one, which is the advanced operations here of the Integrated, integrated Dynamics tutorial. Uh, so advanced operations right here. We're going to go through these three advancements right here. So the very first thing is we need to build a list with the integers 1, 10, and 100. So let's go ahead and bring our portable logic programmer up here. We're going to go ahead and go to list right here. And we're going to go ahead and look for the integers right here. Hit the plus sign right there, and we're going to need to have an integer of 1, an integer of 10, like that, and an integer of 100. So, of course, integers are just whole numbers in this case right here. Boom, right there. There is our list of numbers right there, 1. And we can go ahead and display that list of numbers on our display panel right here, like so, 1, 10, and 100. So that was the very first advancement right here. All right, so next step here is we're going to go ahead and get the item origin identification. So let's go ahead and bring our, our logic programmer, programmer up here. I'm going to go to items. We're going to drop the squeezer in right there like such or whatever mod. And that's going to give you uh, the item card itself. Then we're going to go to the mod right here. And we are looking for this input right here, which is the item output string. So let's go ahead and put our variable card in there like that. Get our string out like that. That's going to say what mod it is. So let's go ahead and take this list out right here. We'll just throw it in there for the time being. And I'm going to throw our item variable card in here to say what, what actual item it is. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one on here. It's going to say, hey, this is from Integrated Dynamics. Magic. Sweet. Let's move on to the next one right there. So the last one right here is what would I be looking at? So this one right here, they want us to make a entity reader right here and then retrieve the target of the entity. So in this case, if I walk up to my an entity reader I have right here, I can hit this guy, guy right here, and then I can get what entity it is, like so. So that's going to give me the entity, which in this case is me. And then we're going to go ahead and look for, let's bring up the book here one second, and we're looking for operator input entity output block. So let's go ahead and look for entity in our search here. Uh, so is mob, is animal, item, is player. So we're going to keep looking for here. We're looking for the target block of the entity, which is this guy right here. So we're going to go ahead and drop the entity in right here, like though. So drop our variable card in right there. So that's going to basically say, hey, what, what's the entity look, uh, that's in the area here? And then it's going to say, what is that entity looking at? And that's going to be our output right here. So let's go ahead and throw this guy in right here. And we're going to pull this integrated dynamics uh, mod out. I'm going to drop that in there and then say what would I be looking at. So in this case if I go back here and I'm going to go ahead and make grab that display panel right here and just lift it up a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. So like that and then I'm going to drop that variable card back in here and hey I'm looking at a logic and then if I look over there at the variable store it's going to show the variable store or the entity reader. So there you go. That is advanced operations. Let's go ahead and collect our rewards right there. And that is it for today for the Integrated Dynamics Advanced Operations.